YouTubers, what's the hibbity haps? Hope you guys are doing awesome out there. I just want to say thanks, guys, for listening to these things and leaving comments. I really appreciate it. And thanks for all the support. It's awesome. Hope you guys are having fun listening to these. It seems like you are. And thanks for the feedback. It's awesome. Thanks, too, for sharing the petition. It's going pretty well. I got a little tweet by Hutch the other day. I got a couple more, 100 more sigs from him. That was awesome. So this thing's rocking. So here's the last stage of this zombie action that I had. And I wanted to do these videos because Black Ops is coming. A lot of these tactics and tips are going to totally bleed over into those games. So there's stuff to be learned here. And that's why I wanted to share some of the things that I found work good. So you guys, we can high level in the new zombie modes. Because it's going to be awesome. So here I'm fast forwarding 150% speed on the dogs. Just to get through it. But yeah, Wonder Woff is the dog killing machine. It's good stuff. Perfect spot for dogs. Yeah, so the petition is going good. Over 6,500 signatures. At the end of this video, there's a there's a share button. Um, like, and you can share it on Facebook and Twitter if you guys could do that. That'd be awesome. And click the like button if you want to, just because I think that helps other people see it. Kind of recommend it to them. So, placing Bettys. I'm interested to see if they have Bettys in the new zombie or Claymores. Hope so. I hope I like Betty's better than Claymore's for zombies, but we'll see. It's all good things we'll learn, and I'll definitely be posting some videos with tactics and stuff that I can do. Um, yeah, so I'm sort I'm sort of realizing that I got issues, and now you got to start running. There, I almost died right there. That was a <laughs> that's one of those that could have been the end of the game. But yeah, running and setting off traps. This is how you got to do it. For all those people who are complaining about camp me camping in the earlier... At this point, there is no camping on 27. You need to run, set off traps, use up all your points. If you realize, I am definitely an overloader. I shoot two shots, reload. Two, shoot a shot, reload. Overloading. If you notice that Betty there, that was for that... Again, the protection if you run in there. It's just good to have Betty's randomly placed. So here I didn't patch the window. Almost cost me. If there had been a zombie behind me, I would have been all done for. But hitting the teleporter again. Now I go... I go right again, which is strange. Usually I go left and open the doors that I haven't opened yet. But I went, I went right. And I don't know. That was kind of a, not a brilliant move, but... This is me just trying to make something happen. <laughs> trying to keep myself alive a little longer. Good old monkey bombs. So, just so you... Um, something else I wanted to share. The lightning strikes that you hear with the dogs. When the dogs come. Um, those definitely, I think, indicate spawn times. Like, or, you know, if you hear a lightning strike, that means that you have at least one more wave of zombies. So, if you can keep track of those when you hear the lightning strike... You'll know that you're not all the way through the round or, you know, if you're seeing zombies and you're not hearing any lightning and you're killing a bunch of them, then it's letting you know that you might be near the end of the round. So that's something to keep in mind. And especially as the newer games come out, I think they definitely have ways of letting you know if you're still, zombies are still spawning. So here I decided I'm just going to keep them through 28. I can't believe it. So I just want to review some of the things we discussed in the previous videos. If you didn't have a chance to watch all the 15 minutes of craziness, this is the final part. I'm going to die in a, in a round here. On 29 is when I go out. So the first um, thing I talked about was maximizing your points. Uh, use the handgun. Use the knife at first and use the handgun. Line up the zombies. Get collateral. You get way more points. Don't hit the box until you've unlocked the pack a punch machine and all the teleporters you've got juggernaug speed cola betty's and the fg42 not the mg42 the fg42 off the wall that's what you definitely want to do you want to definitely have all those things and then start hitting the box because then you're set up and definitely pack a punch the fg42 and then that gun will take you to 15 plus but you'll get good stuff too use thompson i recommend it it's definitely the point reaping machine 
It's awesome. So, and yeah, point stack. Try and keep get as many points as you can up until round 20, 1, 22. You know, you want to just get as many points so you can then start using the traps. You got to use the traps. You got to be a little bit more, have a little more movement. Because upstairs is definitely going to wear itself out. Two, keep the Bettys if you have a Betty. Um, keep one Betty at all times. Don't drop it in case you get a max ammo. Because then you get another Betty. So you want to keep those that one Betty in reserve. Don't place two right away. Hold one because when you get a max ammo, if you have one, it'll be another one. Where if you have none, it doesn't give you any. And the dog lightning thing is a key thing to keep in mind. And the flamethrower is the ultimate weapon. You jump off the bridge, walk backwards, torch the guys up. It will rock. It will rock. You can get super high levels and you'll never run out of ammo. Here we go. 29. I knew in trouble. This is where you have to make snappy decisions in zombies and it definitely comes up to cost you. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I go left here. This is because I never open these doors until I need to make this sort of run because I have the stairway up here. I set off the traps. I set the traps off a little early. I should wait a little bit longer, but I get a little freaked out. So the Dogs are spawning, so I just hold out here for a little bit. I notice this window's open. I'm just like, do-do. That's that window. And I do have a Betty, I think, on the other side of that. I usually place a Betty right there on the other side of the barricade so that when I open it up, I have a little cushion. And then I see a bomb. I go for it. Ray gun and dog and a zombie take me out. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Round 29. And the capper is done for. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed playing it. I love the zombies. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some of these tips. I, I think a lot of these tips are going to transcend right into Black Ops. So, um, a lot of the techniques and tactics, just trying to maximize points, it's always going to be something you're going to need to do in those early rounds. If the Mystery Crate comes back, which I'm expecting, not hitting it up and saving your points until you've got your gear to survive. You know, those early guns will hold you out for a while. Thompson's good. Unpack a punch up until 11, 12. You know, it definitely will just get you tons of points, so use it up. Thanks, guys, for listening to this. I have some more videos coming. I got a free-for-all match that I totally get first place in, and it's pretty awesome. And, yeah, I got some other stuff working on it. So keep being awesome, guys. Game on, gamers. Rock it.